This is the talk show that takes a no-holds-barred approach to politics, where truth and integrity are the standard and the Constitution honored. From Renaissance Studios, this is Champion News Talk Radio. Good morning and welcome to another great edition of Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net, your choice for the conservative voice. This is Carol Parisi. This morning, our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have Jeff Tusak, who is the Illinois pension expert for the Illinois Tea Party. Welcome, Jeff, and um, how are you, Jack, this morning? Oh, I'm, I'm fine, and, uh, but uh, everybody's seen me already, but uh, they haven't seen enough of Jeff. And uh, I'm really impressed with uh, your background. Uh, in the past, uh, working with General Motors, and uh, being around all of those negotiations with, with the unions and the pensions and all of that. Uh, uh, Jeff, uh, you've got a preparation for this monster problem uh, in Illinois. We have two problems, don't we? One of them, we are the most corrupt state of all the 50. You want to argue about that? We might be in second place, more likely in first. We've got experts at corruption here. <laughs> They've been at it a long time. And, uh, and the other thing is we're the most busted. And the thing that has busted the whole state and is uh, singularly responsible, I mean, they've done some crazy things and they've got to be changed. But the massive debt we've got that we can't continue spending the heavy thing is the pensions and largely in the teacher unions. Mm -hmm. that what, the, what the teacher unions have done to the teachers is a scandal in and of itself. Uh, the teacher's worst enemy is their own union. It's ruined their pensions. It certainly so, has. Uh, I don't know, you've got your own ideas of where to go with this conversation, but I wanted people to know that uh, you're tough enough, strong enough, and bright enough, I think, to deal with, these, uh, with this union brood problem. It's a shame that the working man's uh, savior has turned into his enemy. <laughs> well, Jeff, you've been a guest on our show before. Sure. I'd like to welcome you back you. today. And I know you have a lot of updates for our listening audience um, as to what some of the things that you've been doing. You've been going to different meetings. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that and uh, what is going on with Illinois pensions, which seems to be our biggest problem well, here? What's going on is, uh, is some of our pressure from all of us, and Jack has uh, been doing it for far longer than any of the rest of us, is starting to break open some cracks right here. What I see in Jack's got some of the same articles that I do, but for the first time, and I've been doing this thing for a year and a half, you're starting to see the pension boards themselves saying, we don't have any money. A year and a half ago, there was all denial. There was plenty of money. You know, There was no problems with the pension systems. That is not the case. Nobody is denying it. Now we're going to the next step. The, the other thing that you see, too, is I've that... Heard, I've heard uh, commercials about, on TV by the teachers' union saying that this is caused because the state didn't maintain their schedule of payments, that mm -hmm. the payments are behind. And Bill Zettler has done a fan. This is a lot That's of the right. public perception. And I spend a lot of my folks. time in there. That's a bloody would, lie. It is a bloody <laughs> lie. And, and, and Bill Zettler does a really good job of laying that out. I just reviewed his work, too. What the public is led to believe is the state missed its payments. The state never missed its payments. If you look at the charts, and I use this all the time, what what the state is not paying is the delta between their exorbitant compensation and what's usual, customary, and reasonable, right? The state is stuck on that glide path forever because they have to do it. What they ha have not been doing is paying this delta. And Zettler has pointed that what out. What is the delta? The delta is the difference between one line to another. So I use the term hockey sticks. The last time I was on I was talking about how it's a common term they use in the, uh, in, in, the, in the private sector. Hockey stick is a chart that goes like that. Mm -hmm. And w the hockey star for pension debt looks like this because these are the promises. A lot of them we haven't paid out yet, but they're promises nonetheless. And then you have what the trend line is or what, what the, uh, what the, what the uh, state does pay. What, what the union wants everybody to believe is that the state missed payments. No, the state just hasn't paid that delta. 
and that's where never the, promised to, never was obligated to. It is just that the crazy fools at the lower di in the districts, these uh, superintendents right. that are getting pensions of two hundred thousand dollars a year and more, those twits. Uh, working with the union in the negotiations, have given away the taxpayer's store. Right. They have agreed to a mountainous increase in pensions every year going up uh, one huge ton of money, and it just outrun any possibility of anybody right. paying and that, for it. And that's the acknowledgement right now, and I was looking over your shoulder at your articles, you see it all the time, and you, they're almost using your words, Jack, they're saying this debt cannot be paid. There is no scenario that would allow this to happen. Jeff, I want to back you up for a sure. second because our listening audience, yes. you were describing something visual. Yes. And is there some place our listening audience can see these charts and graphs where it could be more visually? Right. If you go on the Illinois Tea Party website under pension reform, you'll see exactly that chart. It's called salary spiking. And You'll see, you, you'll see the difference in the delta. You'll see one line going this way and the usual customer reasonable. And you'll see two crimes in there. For the first crime is the fact that they promised this exorbitant compensation. The other crime is the number of retirees has gone up dramatically. Now, how can this happen in a state that's lost 364,000 jobs in the last 15 years? You know how much tax dollars that is? By estimates, it's about $40 billion with the taxes we lost. So in the private sector where I came from, this would not happen. After the first or second downgrade, everybody would have been forced into a bankruptcy procedures. They would have been forced to disclose all the debt. And then in the bankruptcy itself, there would have been a come to Jesus, so to speak. They would have said, listen. There's there a renegotiation a, process. There's a restructuring. Jeff, you're a cruel and inhuman person <laughs> trying to be a realist. <laughs> uh, don't you know this is all for the children? Uh, yeah. Well, it is all for the children. The children What's aren't going to them? get anything right now. Uh, th th this was... Uh, These are educators. You can't, you can't pay them enough. Right. You know, I, and I have a ton of uh, people in my family and friends, and I, obviously a lot of them are irritated with me in the position that, that I take, but it's just facts. I did a Tea Party a meeting the other day, and three or four of them walked out the door by looking at the facts. I said, this is my numbers, this is your numbers. <laughs> this is TRS numbers. Can I ask you, why do liberals have such a problem with the facts? When you start espousing just facts, facts, nothing, no agenda, just facts. Why do they get so frustrated about that? Uh, you know, because they haven't had to, to live in a world where you have to meet the bottom line. Politics yeah. is not reason. Yeah. You've got uh, these people. Uh, listen, uh, the, the, uh, the union has got Madigan uh, by the short hairs, and he likes it. Mm -hmm. He loves it. Well, does he have them by the short hairs? No, no, he doesn't have Oh, no. No, they've got him, and his... Yeah, yeah, all he has to do is uh, sit there and enjoy the hundred million dollars a year out of the hundred and thirty-five million dollars a year that the teachers' unions get in Illinois. Just that they get from the teachers. This money has come out of the pockets of the teachers. Their dues of roughly a thousand dollars a year amount to a hundred and thirty-five million dollars a year. And Eighty percent million. of that goes into such as Mr. High Spending Madigan. The teachers political have been let political, political work, work to work Absolutely. against free market That's causes. Right. So teachers Madigan, have been misled Madigan's here been for bought sure. and paid for yeah. for the last 40 years. You know, it, it, and again, I sound like a broken record because this is mentioned almost every single day, but this is the, a, a problem that has to be mentioned every single day, and I never miss an opportunity to tell family and friends and colleagues, whatever, what the deal is, because that's my obligation as a citizen, it's all of our obligation is. Mm -hmm. We own this place here, mm -hmm. right? And the, 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 they have been misled by the unions, but here's what I say to them, it goes, you misled yourself. Did, did you think that you can get 7% raises a year in an economy that loses that many private sector jobs? Where do you think the money comes from? I think everybody was hoping it wouldn't happen on their watch. It's here. They keep kicking the so, can You know, down people the road. should remember the rule of 72. Uh, divide uh, the percentage increase into 72, and you'll get the number of years it will take to double it. Mm -hmm. So at 7%, you're going to double the salaries every 10 years. And in the succeeding 10 years, you'll double them again. And that's what's going on. 
And what the salaries have quadrupled. They have. And, and what's painful for them is what we and, you know, I love Zettler and, and those of us that are looking at the data. We're saying, let's look at a private sector person and what they get. Oh, gosh. The very same people that are expected to pay your compensation rate. Let's look what they get. Well, you know what, Jeff? I know that you've been to several meetings and you've even talked to some unions and the unions have sure. made some threats and things if pension reform does go through. And I'm looking forward to hearing some of those things sure. because you've got some great information. And um, Jack, I know that the family taxpayer and championnews.net is where our listeners can get a lot of Oh, yeah. additional information from Bill Zettler at championnews.net. Yeah. So, Jeff, when we come back after the break, I want to hear what those unions are, are threatening and what they're going to do. Mm.